Hello there, so why is your program returning a Java error that says non-static method cannot be referred from a static context? I know this error is quite common and it can be really frustrating, especially if you are new to programming or Java. If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a Java program, but you cannot even compile your code at the moment because you are seeing an error that said Java error non-static method cannot be referred from a static context. So what does this mean? In this video, I will explain you what this error means and we will see several code snippets with this issue and how you can fix it. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by explaining what non-static method cannot be referred from a static context means. It is a compilation error, which means that the code is not following the language rules or, in other words, it doesn't comply with the Java syntax. You will see this error in Java when you are trying to call a non-static method from a static context. In other words, when you are trying to access an instance method from a static method or a static block. Another way to say this is that you are trying to call a method that belongs to the instance or object from the class context. To understand this a bit better, let's see what the static keyword means in Java. In Java, a static method or a static block belongs to a class and not to the object. Let's see an example. Let's say that we have a class circle that has a non-static field radius and then a an static field called pi. Anything that is static is part of the static context or the class context. As soon as you call new circle, you are creating an instance of the class, in other words, an object that will be part of the non-static context. To help you remember, you can think of the bricks and a house. You will have the bricks and then you will use the bricks to build the house. So in this case, the bricks are the class and using the class, you will create the object. That's why you can access static fields, which belongs to the class from a non-static context, but it doesn't work the other way around. If the instance exists, you can be sure that the class exists as well. However, you could have a class and no instances of the class. So if we go back to the circle example, if we create an static method called area, then we can call the pi field because it's part of the static context. But we cannot use the radius field because that is non-static. Non-static fields belong to the object. To access a non-static field, you will need to create an instance of the class. Let's see how the code will look for this example. We will have a class named circle and then two fields. The radius is a non-static field and the pi field is a static field. And then we have the static method name area. And there we have our error non-static method cannot be referred from a non from a static context. So, as we said, area belongs to the class context and we are trying to access the radius which belongs to the object. To fix this problem, you will need to chain the area method to be non-static. And as soon as we update that, the compilation error goes away. Let's look at another example. In this case, we have a static method main and then we have a non-static method called print message. As before, there it is the 
Compilation error non-static method cannot be referred from a static context. The problem is that the print message method belongs to the object, which doesn't exist yet. So that means that from the class context, we are trying to access something in the object context. So to fix the problem, we need to create an object of the class main and then we will be able to call the method. And doing so, the compilation error will disappear. Perfect, so we reached the end of this video where we have seen how to fix the error non-static method cannot be referred from a static context. And remember, most of the time you can fix this problem just by creating an instance of the class or by changing the, the method to be non-static or a field. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.